Good morning. Where does Jeremiah send Baruch to read the scroll about the fury of the Lord to the people? We're in Jeremiah chapter 36, verses 5 to 8. And Jeremiah commanded Baruch, saying, I am confined, I cannot go into the house of the Lord. You go, therefore, and read from the scroll which you have written at my instruction, the words of the Lord in the hearing of the people, in the Lord's house on the day of fasting. And you shall also read them in the hearing of all Judah who come from their cities. It may be that they will present their supplication before the Lord, and everyone will turn from his evil way. For great is the anger and the fury that the Lord has pronounced against this people. And Baruch the son of Neriah did according to all that Jeremiah the prophet commanded him, reading from the book the words of the Lord in the Lord's house. So there's a big special day coming uh, where they're going to be gathered from all over the nation, and Jeremiah takes it wants to take advantage of that, and he say he can't go in himself. He's been banned sort of from the temple. We've all heard of being canceled and banned in our day. Well, nothing new, is it? So now Jeremiah is going to team up with Baruch, and he sends Baruch in to read his material. He's banned, but Baruch's going to go in and read it right there in the house of the Lord. Jeremiah hopes that on hearing these words that some will be led to repent. It's a wonderful plan. How are the people going to react? God's going to make sure that his word is not canceled out. His word is not censored. So he sends and Baruch goes. Baruch is willing to go and he goes there. The word of the Lord's going out. It's just a matter of how people will deal with it. And you know, this works out quite interestingly. There's a bunch of hearers. So he goes and he gives the word of the Lord in this way. And then he continues for a period of time, apparently in this same plan. So you know how it is with God's word. People are going to try to censor it, disrupt it, uh, make it of none effect. When people try to make the testimony of the Spirit of God of none effect, they are just trying to get around the Word from God. And so God isn't going to allow that to go un unaddressed. So he sends, if Jeremiah can't go, he sends Baruch. God has many ways to bring his Word before the people. If one way fails, he'll come up with another, and another, and another. It's never stopped since God decided to give his Word to his people. Now, I like this teamwork between Baruch and Jeremiah. We need more teamwork here in the kingdom. We need to work together more to promote the truth of God's word. Hey, if we work together for the kingdom, how are they going to stop it? How is that going to be stopped? It will never be stopped, but we've got to work together. We can't just be picked off one by one. We want to do the work together. You and I are God's agents. It's kind of like we've been handed the scroll, only our scroll is, is a rectangular. But it's the same word, and we need to be faithful in delivering it. God has basically handed you the scroll. I believe that one of the reasons we seem to be entering an age of decline in Christianity is because a lot of people have heard the word, but they, they're tentative about giving it. They don't feel like they have an authority or they feel unsure of themselves. We need a real experience with Jesus, and we won't be so unsure of ourselves. We'll have something to say. God is working. Why aren't we telling about it? We're making some mistakes. We're missing countless opportunities to tell people about Jesus and his message for these final days. So I pray you'll have courage today. In fact, let's pray right now. Dear Father in heaven, we want to be right with you. Uh, we look to your word. You want us to team up with each other and with you. Lord, all together as we work for your kingdom, you will deliver. You will show your power. But Lord, help us to be faithful because we need to carry on and get this done. We want to see your face, Lord, face to face. Bless us and encourage us to do your work, just like Baruch did with Jeremiah. So, Lord, help us to be your servants as well, your assistants. In all this work, we ask for courage in Jesus' name. Amen. So, if you and I had gone into the temple that morning, we would have heard Baruch reading the word of God's prophet Jeremiah. It would have been a word to us. So, you and I, let's go out today into the world. We have a word from God for the world. God be with you today.